Alright, this is a talent guide for the new hero in Heroes of the Storm. Uh, we can get going Lieutenant Morales. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Pretty sure, though. It's a good guess. And, uh, so we'll get right into it. Um, this is a first impressions kind of thing, but I have a feel of where this is going. So she's a support character. Uh, and, and so first, uh, her first at level one is it just getting uh, trauma trigger. It's, um, it's, uh, you know, it's really good defensive effect. Uh, better than some of these. Uh, I mean, safeguard could be okay, uh, but it's only one second if you look at it, which isn't that impressive. This is really good for, um, you know, uh, it's like, um, what's that character? Tychus, I think, or Rainer. One of the two, Tychus or Rainer, is uh, passive that heals them when they're low. It's like this, but you get it in a talent, which is really good, because that's his whole effect. So this is really good. Uh, this keeps you pretty safe. Uh, you can get poked and then heal up, basically. Uh, it has a 20 second cooldown too, so that sounds really good. Uh, the other option here could be feedback loop. I see some people getting this. Um, I mean, it's okay. I mean, eh. This is, this is probably the best one. I, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the best one. Trauma, trauma trigger. At uh, level four, um, it's just getting a bio shield, a uh, great shield at full health. So that's pretty good. Uh, it means you can he even heal people when they're full health, which is pretty useful. We can get going whenever you're ready. If you don't like that idea, then um, advanced block is always good. Uh, especially hers, it's advanced, so it's better than a lot of other people's that only store up to two blocks. This stores up to three, which is pretty good. Uh, the other thing is like bow shield is actually really good. Um, you know, you could if you really focus the tank like before they go in, then this is really good. Uh, again, because you know you get them a shield, lets them be tankier. That's all good. Uh, as for the other ones, I wouldn't really suggest any of the other ones. I don't really need to go into them. Uh, all right, as for level seven, um, pretty much everyone just goes er eradicate. Uh, just, you know, it, it lets your heals deal damage, which is pretty good, and the rest don't really help. I mean, Mule is weird, because you're, you're, you're a support, you're not going, you're not really, I mean, there's situations for it, but the, uh, Morales isn't really the support that would go with this, because you're, you're, you're going to be working with a team, you're not going to be, like, using that as much. Uh, cleanse could work, potentially. Could work, but eradicate just you know fits her kit better. Plus, it's passive, so you don't really have to like, focus too much on it. It's uh, really good. As for number ten, uh, everyone just goes stim drone. Uh, there might be a time for dropship. Uh, the only problem with stim drone, of course, is uh, it's just attack speed and movement speed on one character. It's interesting. Uh, generally, you use it on one of your care attack damage, like uh, not attack damage. It's not the right term, like. Attack speed kind of carries like um, uh, Rainer, Tychus, um, Vala, or something. Uh, that helps them deal more damage, basically. Uh, there might be potential for it on a tank. Uh, the move, it, don't forget, it has movement speed. Uh, as for the teleport, it's kind of not really thought of right now. I mean, there might be a time for it later, because, uh, you know. It's, uh, you know, you can, like, get in position for objectives really easily. So there might be a time for it. But right now, it's just a show. All right, as for level 13, there's two ways you can go. You can either go intensive chair or couples therapy. Uh, couple therapy, couples therapy, uh, kind of a funny name. But pretty much it's uh, uh, really good for, uh, you know, you heal yourself as well. So, you know, it's two for one. It's really good. Uh, only problem, of course, is it costs more mana, but that's not going to be that big a deal if you know what you're doing. As the other option is uh, healing's beam increases over time, so you can heal your target even more. Um, so you know, think of the game. If you're able to get out of your 
for its area. Maybe this is really good if you just like hard focus on one guy, but this like lets you take some damage as well, so they're both good options. A uh, couple therapy is probably the one I'd go for. Uh, so for 16, um, it's two options. Uh, these two. Uh, inclination. Um, inoculation? That's probably how you say it. Inoculation. Um, you know, it reduces more damage. Uh, if you look at it, it reduces 50% damage for 1.5 seconds. That's a lot, so that's pretty good. Uh, as for this, um, same idea. Uh, we can get going whenever you're ready. It, they're both really good. It's really 50-50. Um, so either, you know, using it right before your tag go in, or right before damage comes on the person, uh, that's, this, that's when you use this. Well, this one, you could target multiple people. You target one, they target someone else, uh, double safeguard. Really good. Uh, this is more useful in team fights, I think. This is more useful for engages. So they're very different situations. This is better. Inoculated nation is better for um, uh, engages and small situations, while uh, shield sequencer is better for team fights. And then finally. Uh, 20. Uh, there's two ways you can go. Apparently, we can get going uh, this is really weird. Uh, everyone pretty much goes catalyst reactor. Uh, so you know, it's just uh, it's really useful. Gives you shields, gives you mana. Really, really nice. Um, but surprisingly, the one with the highest win rate is transfusion. Um. That's really weird. I don't really, I'm really surprised by that because it, it wouldn't, you wouldn't think that attack speed and movement speed on herself would be that useful, but apparently it is. So, you know, if you want, you can give that a shot, but generally everyone goes uh, KDS Reactor 2. So that's it. Please like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, or requests in the comments section. Thanks for watching.